Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to, in UDL style, talk a little bit about the why behind some of the information that I sent out to you on Blackboard today. So that's my dog, Gary, back there. Gary, Gary, He's so cute. And then Soleil's over there in the sun because she is my sun goddess. See, Soleil. So anyway, um, welcome to my home. I wanted to just, you'll notice when you get my syllabus that I am really big on uh, UDL and importantly, um, the engagement piece of knowing the why behind everything that we do. And I spent a good portion of this summer redesigning SPED 605 um, to really have a uh, a significant amount of importance behind everything that we did, everything that we will do. So I looked at every single assignment, um, course objectives, and I aligned them together with our learning activities and our formative assessments so that I can ensure that every goal that I have for every class we meet and it's measured. Um, so good teaching practice, but more importantly, I really wanted to make sure that everything had meaning and relevance and can really help to move us forward in our communication and our ability to really partner and engage with families. So a um, couple things I wanted to say. So I sent you out the books. Do try and order those as soon as you can. Um, through the TALA program, as you've noticed, we typically don't use the uh, bookstore because we feel like our students can find the books easier and maybe more affordable online. So the first book is One of Us, A Family's Life with Autism by Mark Osteen. And he is a father of a now young adult with autism. And he's actually local. He teaches at Loyola College and I've had him come and give guest lectures before about his book and talk with our class. So I might look into doing that later in the semester. Um, I just know he's kind of moved on and is doing a lot of other things in his career these days. So this book is really important um, read because it gives you one story and it's just one story. So we need to know that. It's not everyone's story um, as you know or are learning um, or expanding your learning about autism that everyone's journey and everyone's experience, um, the individual, but also the family is very unique. So this is just one family, but it is a group um, that, it's a family story that is told from the father's perspective, which is unique and important. And it's also really um, eye-opening to some of the challenges that this family went through so um, it's an important book and we'll read it in a kind of a book club style and, and it's also an opportunity for us to apply a lot of the principles of the class um, through a responsive partnership plan. So more to come on that. Um, the second book is our textbook and this is an incredible book written by the extraordinary Ann Turnbull and her husband. Some of you might have seen her when she was our keynote at Honestly Autism Day a few years back. I had the opportunity to learn from her directly at the University of Kansas where she was a professor. And the book is really important foundation for this class in the sense that it gives you concrete information about family systems theory, about uh, communication strategies and skills that are really necessary for um, a successful partnership with families. And then last but not least, um, those partnership practices. And the um, little drier but equally important, uh, the law. So our parents need to know, we need to know, first and foremost, what our parents' rights are, but they also need to know what is afforded to them under IDEA and um, how we can work with parents as partners during that um, IEP process. All right, so that's enough on the books. 
quickly I'm going to jump over to the dates. Um, as I mentioned in there, sometimes, occasionally, we're just going to do it a couple times this semester actually, but we're going to have a four hour class. And um, the first one for us is the first class. So we'll get to spend a lot of time together. It'll go very quickly. I have a lot planned for that day. Um, and so um, we'll be very active and moving around but um, that will be the first one. The second one you already know about is your Saturday date, and that is for September 15th. Um, the Leadership Colloquium, as I mentioned, is a really special day where um, the graduating TALA students share a little bit about, highlight uh, what they've learned, how the assignments and experiences in the TALA program have contributed to their learning, and their leadership. So it's wonderful for current TALA students to be able to attend the Leadership Colloquium and hear about the experiences of uh, previous graduates. So this one is a modified Leadership Colloquium because the graduating campus cohort, the first campus cohort, who were amazing as well, um, their Leadership Colloquium was scheduled for a day in December because they graduated in December, but we had to cancel it because of like a half inch of snow. So don't remind me, it was a kind of a, a trying time. But anyway, I've invited them to come back and share because a lot of them worked really hard and wanted to be a part of sharing what they gained from the TALA program. So um, a good number of them are coming back and we're kind of having a modified leadership colloquium in the morning. There'll be a full leadership colloquium for the graduating Baltimore County cohort in December. So the morning of your Saturday class um, in December. Okay, the next thing, and this is probably the most important piece of information, is that um, in collaboration with the wonderful Marlo Lemon, who is teaching the other section of 605 for another TALA cohort, and um, a guest workshop attendee of your colleague, Debbie Page, we kind of reviewed some of the assignments and activities in the class. I just wanted to make sure it was really authentic and uh, representative for from a family's perspective. So both Marla, Marlo and Debbie are caregivers of individuals on the spectrum and so they have shared a little bit of that um, insight and we came up with these experiential immersion type of learning. So as I said in my email, you will learn a lot of skills and strategies through our textbook um, and in-class activities and discussion and assignments, but the most important person you learn from, and as I say all the time, and you'll probably be tired of hearing me say this, that my greatest teachers are parents. Um, they know their children better than anybody. They're experts. Um, on raising their child and they are living this life so it would be um, a shame to teach a family's class and not have multiple opportunities to hear and learn from family members so we have that built in but we also wanted to give you an experience that um, captured some of the realities that some families of children with autism here my locusts in the back, um, face. So we've created this experiential immersion experience where you are going to plan, organize, and then facilitate a community event for families of the Autism Society Baltimore Chesapeake chapter. And one of the things um, that Debbie brought to our attention that was really special that they did last year was this photo shoot for families of children with autism because it's really hard as you can imagine to sometimes organize and orchestrate that opportunity um, so it's a real service learning um, chance and so that's what our class is going to do and it's tentatively scheduled for November 11th unfortunately the Towson photographer that I had in mind is not available so I'm working to find another photographer if you know of someone who may want to volunteer their services for this project please contact me um, but that's why that date may change and it is on a weekend which I know is a lot to ask of you to give up um, some time on a weekend I do respect that and appreciate it and if I didn't believe 
in this learning experience as so essential to your growth and understanding um, of how to support families and also in really truly understanding the impact um, and the needs that families have when they go into the community, I wouldn't assign it. So I've given a lot of thought to it and I really believe in this opportunity for your learning, um, my learning and our growth. So um, it's tentatively scheduled for November 11th, um, probably in the afternoon so that the parents can come onto campus and not be charged for parking. That's part of the reason why it's on the weekend as well as their schedules. But if I find a photographer who can't do November 11th, we may have to switch that date. So that's why it's tentative. But because this is um, not a Saturday class, there's very different. Um, our Saturday classes, just a reminder, are built in so that we can make up the time, um, those nine hours that we don't get every week. So we scheduled Tala classes to be on one night a week for only two hours. So we could get two classes in so that you didn't have to come out multiple times during the week because we felt and we through our um, focus groups learned that that's challenging for students. So in order to make up that time by having shortened evening classes, we have that one Saturday class that is mandatory that goes with each course that you take in the TALA program. So um, separate from that is this immersion experience that comes with this class. So because it's an additional outside of class time, I will be canceling one of our classes during the semester so that um, you get that time back. So it's an exchange, if you will. But if, um, because the November 11th date is not part of your mandatory Saturday classes, if you have a conflict with that date, please notify me ASAP um, because you can see if um, the other Saturday, uh, the other family event that Marlo's class is um, planning. If you can attend that event, then we can do an even swap for it, or I will come up with an, an additional, a different alternative assignment for you to complete. So. Um, it's a lot of information. This video was a lot longer than I intended, um, but I just wanted you to know I'm really, really excited about this class. Like I said, I've spent a lot of time this summer thinking about it, really, really reflecting on every piece of it, and I want it to be really meaningful and impactful for you and your growth as a leader and professional in the TALA program. So contact me anytime and enjoy these last few weeks of summer.